So, uh, Anycubic i3 Mega S problems. Initially, uh, yesterday I started to print uh, PPE for the NHS, which is a, uh, obviously a good cause trying to get involved with, but for some reason, after months and months of using the uh, uh, the tool itself, the printer, sorry, um, it's decided to stop working. So last night, I only printed half of the, well, not even half, actually. Look, see, there's the, there's the, the first two. It didn't even get a third of the way through. Um, and it stopped, literally just stopped. Uh, it wouldn't go home either, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't send anything home. And now the hotbed doesn't work, so it won't. So it's not doing anything now. So uh, I've got no idea what the issue is. Uh, so we're gonna jump inside and have a look. First of all, we'll check all the connections on the outside uh, and then we'll have a look on the inside. So we'll, uh, we'll let you know. Seconds into checking the connections. I've checked all of these here. Check this, this is, should be out. I don't use the, if you can see that, um, I don't use the uh, filament sensor there, um, just because I, I keep an eye on it anyway. Always make sure that I've got more than I need. Oh, that's loose, I don't know what that is. Um, I've checked all these connections, they were good, but when I came around the back here, I noticed that, I don't know if you can see that, just pulled this wire down there, and that green one is not on the bed. That's looking like it's going to be the problem. So I'm going to take that down, strip that down, resolder that back on, and see where we get. So now taking the hotbed off, you can clearly see that uh, that green wire is not attached, and this sheath here is quite close to the wire, so that might be adding a bit of pressure on whilst it's doing a sort of a full, uh, full movement forwards and backwards on the bed. Um, so I'm going to check the uh, blue wire. I've read online that the blue wire is normally the one that drops off, but you can see they're very similar wires. So I might resold the blue wire a little bit as well, get a bit more support on there. Uh, so you'll be able to see see a quick video of this. Uh, you're going to see me soldering, but you're going to see hopefully this uh, this will rectify the problem. So just to recap then, the failure mode I had was I was no heat in the bed, no heat on the extruder at all, uh, and the extruder only went to the home position once and it stopped doing it again uh, after me uh, making movements with it. So and then obviously checking all the connections, checking that the green. Uh, the green connector seems to be printing okay now. We'll give it a test run, but uh, yeah, essentially the the issue was the um, green wire on the back. I can't really see it. Just being down there. The green wire on the back came off the heating bed. So there we go. Okay.